Hey, you probably see this video because you just purchased my label texture from Gumroad. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up that label texture. I'm using Blender 4.1, so if you haven't purchased it, go and do that. Link in the description. You can now download my 3D soda can model for free. Link in the description. So if you are using my free 3D model soda can, I'll show you how to import that model. Go to the file and click on Append. Then find your downloaded file and click on that. Click on the object. Select the middle soda can and click on Append. Press Option plus G to center the object on the 3D cursor. Then press S plus 0.6 to scale it down. And then press Control plus A to apply the scale. But before I start, I'll mention that this video is from another of my tutorials, the slide animation. So that is why some parts are looking weird. So let's make a soda can label material. Then click here and change the editor type to shader editor. So here on the material selection, click here on the plus button to add another material. So click on new and then rename it to Red Bull Cactus. But if you use your own texture, name it after that instead, of course. Press the tab button to go to the edit mode. So this is the tab button just right over the caps lock. Select the area you want the texture to be. And I'm going to speed up this process, but continue to select the area, then press Assign to apply the texture to the area. Then press the tab to go back to Object Mode. Then press Shift plus A to add an image's texture. And now plug the color into the base color on the principled BSDF. Click here to open the image and locate your texture. Then click on Open Image. And don't worry, we are going to fix the look of the texture, so don't panic because it looks weird right now. Then go to the UV editing. Now press the point button and change back to median point. Then press Press U to change the UV mapping and click on the cylinder projection. Then press S to scale it down and press G to move it. And then press S plus X to scale it up on the horizontal. So I'm going to speed up this process, but repeat all those shortcuts until the UV mapping looks like this. Go back to the layout. And here we have our label texture. I think this looks good. So let's continue with the video. Press 7 on your numpad to get to top view. This is how you enable the numpad for laptops. Go to Edit, then click on Preferences. Go to Input and then check Emulate NumPad. Press R to rotate, and I'm going to speed up this process. But the goal is to make the label text face to the front view. And I rotate like this much. Then press Ctrl plus A to apply the rotation. And press Z to change the shading mode and click on Render. So I'm rending in cycles. So go to the Render settings and change the Render Engine to Cycles. Then unfold the color management and change the look to High Contrast. Now let's set up the HDRI. So go to World. Click on this yellow dot and select the environment texture. Click on Open and choose you HDRI image. In the description, I linked the HDRI I used. So download that. Now back to the material settings. So change the metallic to 0.5. Press Shift plus A to add a mix color. Then plug the result into the roughness and change from mix to add on the mix color. Then add an RBG Curves node. Plug the color into the A on the Mix color, and then add a color ramp. Plug the color into the B on the Mix color. Then change the factor to 1. Then add another image texture. Then plug the color into the FAC on the color ramp. Then open the fingerprints. I link that in my description, so go and download that. Then change from flat to box, and change the blend to 0.5. Then change the color space to non-color. Select the image texture. Press Ctrl plus T to enable the Node Wrangler. So this is how enable the Node Wrangler. Go to Edit, then Preference. Click Add On, then go to Search and type in Node Wrangler. Check the Node Wrangler, and here you go. Now plug the object into the vector on the mapping node. Select the color ramp. Press Shift plus Control plus the color ramp. So when you see this black and white thing, you know you did it the right way. Then change the scale on the mapping node to 0.1 and on the color ramp. Change the white value to 0.5, and then change the black value to 0.1. Then press Shift plus Control plus Principled BSDF. Then press Shift plus A to add a noise texture. Then plug the color into the color on the RBG curves. And press Shift plus Control plus Noise Texture. Then change the scale to 7.72, and change the detail all the way up to 15. And last change the roughness to 0, and then press Shift plus Control plus RBG curve. Click here to make a point. Then change the first number to 0 0.5454. Then change the second number to 0 0.175. Then click here to make another point. 
Then change the first number to 07954. Then change the second number to 06187. And the RBG curve will look like this good. Then add a bump node and plug the normal into the normal. Then press Shift plus Control plus Bump node. And change the strength to 0.043. And then change the distance to 0.1. Then add another noise texture. And plug the FAC into the height on the bump node. And press Shift plus Control plus Noise Texture. Then change the scale to 700. And change the detail all the way up to 15. Press Ctrl plus T to enable the node wrangler and select the texture coordinate and press X to delete it. Now plug the object into the vector on the mapping node. Press Shift plus Ctrl plus Noise Texture. Change the X scale to 0, 012. Then unfold the specular and add an invert color node. Then plug the color into the IOR level. Then add another image texture. Plug the color into the color. Then click on Open and open the file named Smudges Large 0001. I'll link that in the description, so go and download that. And here we have a very cool soda can material. So thank you for supporting my YouTube channel and for purchasing the label texture from Gumroad. Thank you for watching, and I hope you like my tutorial. Comment down below what I can make in the next video and with the editing and all that thing. And feel free to subscribe for more tutorials and videos.